This is 9 News Now. Take at the CBS lineup. But first, a new treatment for prostate cancer, nicknamed GPS for the body, will tell you how Calypso keeps patients side effect free in our health alert. Topping our health alert, a new study putting a controversial test back in the limelight. Findings published in the journal Cancer warn against getting rid of PSA tests altogether. Now, using the PSA to screen for prostate cancer is it's just controversial. A federal task force recommended against routine PSA tests because of all the false positives. But this new study shows that many, many men more will develop advanced cases of cancer if doctors do not do these routine blood tests at all. If we stop screening and if we stop treating those cancers that we feel uh, are a threat to, to, to men, then what this study says, we're going to see three times the likelihood that men will develop metastatic prostate cancer. And that, of course, is when it's much tougher to treat. PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, is a protein produced by the cells of the prostate. So what happens when prostate cancer is detected? Radiation is often part of the treatment, but it's tricky. You want to bombard the tumor with as much radiation as possible without hitting nearby healthy tissue that can lead to really bad side effects. A Northern Virginia hospital is among a few on the East Coast to use the new Calypso system, described as GPS for the body. I would advise anyone with prostate cancer to look into this. When Lloyd Bell of Arlington found out he had prostate cancer a little over a year ago, he started researching treatment options and the potential side effects. Impotence, urinary incontinence, bowel problems filled him with anxiety. After seeing several radiation oncologists, the 67-year-old chose Dr. Robert Hong at Virginia Hospital Center and the Calypso system for targeted radiation. The very first couple of times I was a little scared because I was afraid I was going to move and that was going to um, affect the radiation treatment. Uh, but then I learned to relax, just listen to the music and meditate. I had 42 treatments in two stages. Dr. Hong says some motion just from breathing can't be helped and that's where Calypso comes in. What the Calypso technology allows us to do is track the tumor in real time. Tiny electromagnetic seeds are placed within the prostate. These become beacons for the radiation directed at the cancer. If the target area moves out of bounds during treatment, the radiation automatically shuts off until the beacons are back in place. What this means is there's less unnecessary radiation and exposure to critical structures nearby. And it also means doctors can increase the radiation dose to the cancer cells. Lloyd